So my team at Southampton has been working on innovative methods for using satellite data, and particularly we're looking into their application to support sustainable development goals. We got involved in, in the satellite sensor product development project called, uh, called MERIS, and that led on to developing uh, the products for this a new operational sensor called Sentinel-3. Overall, this, this work is quite, quite useful. For example, we could use this data set to, to, uh, to estimate the amount of carbon being captured by vegetation and hence we look into the longer or shorter term impact of climate on our ecosystem. The key changes this will enable is providing accurate information to a lot of people. So that includes uh, people on the ground, so, so farmers who, who may have access to information about how good their, their crops are being doing, to the policymaker at higher level, so who wants to look into the overview of the specific country or specific region, identify areas which are uh, pro producing well or under, or identifying the underperforming croplands, for example. And that would, that would enable them to develop policies so that the productivity of, of those lands can come to the same levels. So crops uh, are really important to meet our, our food, uh, food demand because we rely on enough uh, being produced and also good quantity and quality of those to, to maintain uh, our, our, our health and well-being. So, so, so one of the key uh, challenge in many countries, many developing countries, is getting an information on how much is being produced. So the data set that we are producing or, or the methods that we are developing is a crucial input to, to, to fill that, that information gap. Because up until now, a small scale farmer in, in Kenya or, or, or in India may not have information about their, their land. And with this new data set being produced from a European Space Agency is very important to provide that useful information. One of the key uh, activity that we are undertaking at the moment uh, is supporting uh, the European Commission's Copernicus program. So the Copernicus program is a multi-billion euros a multi-year program where uh, the European Commission is developing innovative way of applying satellite-derived data set in monitoring uh, environment. As a part of this, uh, we are involved in a project called GVOP, so which stands for Ground-Based Observation for Validation of Copernicus Land Products. And in this project, what we are doing is we are providing crucial ground data to, to make sure that the quality of the satellite product is accurate and then fit for the purpose. We have been collaborating with Philip Goriel from the European Space Agency. This uh, work was uh, particularly important for the European Space Agency. We tried to provide uh, the best uh, data set uh, useful for monitoring the, the state, uh, the health of our planet. The innovative product, let's say, that was developed by the team of uh, uh, Jadu Dash now contribute, contribute let's say, to uh, uh, an overall uh, observation system that uh, again uh, allows us to better understand uh, how our planet is evolving. The contribution of the, the, the team from University of Southampton was uh, very important because it, it allowed ESA, European Space Agency, to exploit, exploit let's say, a unique feature on board uh, of the European Space Agency satellite, so initially on board of, of MERIS, to, um, to better uh, estimate, let's say, the, the, the chlorophyll contents in, in the vegetation, exploiting, again, a, a unique feature uh, that is called the, the red edge. And the algorithm provided by the team of uh, Jadu Dash is exploiting this uh, unique feature, which is a uh, unique, let's say, on the board of the European uh, sun source. It allows to measure the chlorophyll contents in the vegetation, also at a very high level uh, chlorophyll contents, which cannot be uh, performed by other sensors. So it put also Europe uh, and uh, European Space Agency and Copernicus program is in a, in a unique and, uh, and leading um, a position, let's say, for monitoring uh, the, the state of the vegetation all over the world.
I think that this work uh, with uh, European Space Agency in particular uh, is quite, quite exciting for us. So we have been involved for the last 15 years developing this product from one sensor to the other. And, and we are delighted that we are still continuing this, this collaboration. It's quite important from a personal point of view because you see something that you develop in a, in a lab or in office is being used and put onto a satellite sensor for other people to use your work. And you know, like not only using it, but also acknowledging the importance of the specific data set being being out there to help them to 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 solve a lot of challenges that they face in particularly environmental monitoring or areas of food security as well. We, we are looking forward to to extend this collaboration into future with the European Space Agency and other relevant organisations particularly in developing new satellite products for monitoring uh, the, the vegetation condition and vegetation state, and also uh, developing validation method for, for new satellite products so that we ensure that they fit for, for their purpose.